Welcome back to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm your host, Harry Walker, and today we're talking Porsche. Now beside me, we have two matching 911 Targas, Classic and Future Classic. Now, one of these cars holds a very special spot in my heart, and I'm sure that you could probably already guess which one I'm talking about. It's the 1985 Porsche 911 Carrera Targa. Now this car was originally purchased by Lorbeck Luxury Cars back in 2012 and that's when my father got in contact with Shreko to purchase it off of him. Now the main reason that my father was drawn to this particular car was because my grandfather back in the day purchased the exact same car for my dad for his 21st birthday. So this was the first proper Porsche that my dad got to experience and it's ironic because now I get to experience the same thing he did all those years ago. So this was the car that he taught me how to drive manual in from the ages of around 14 to 16, on closed roads of course. And this is why when my dad sold the car in 2017 to the new owner, he had to replace the clutch within one week. Because I can tell you 14 to 16 year olds learning how to drive manual, it's not the best recipe with a classic like this. So now the car is done a full 360 and has ended up back in the hands of Lorbeck Luxury Cars, which allows me the opportunity to enjoy it for one last time. Now, it's a beautiful day outside, so I'm thinking we take the roof off and enjoy the weather. All right, let's see here. Oh. Now, you know what? I think I'm just gonna get a hand from Shrek on this one. I'll be one second. Harry, um, mate, you, you would have known how to have done this. You've been in this car so many times. How come you don't uh, remember? Well, Shreko, I'm 6'5", Dad's 6'7", and my grandpa was even taller. So to be, yeah. to be honest with you, I don't think we had the roof on once. Okay, well, I've done it a few times, so let, me, right. let me give you a hand. Show us how it's done. Right. So you move this lever soft to that position there, and you pop, there you go, you pull it up. Okay. And then um, you, you push these da that down, you push that up and you fold it together. Yep, that's it. There we are. You can put it underneath the bonnet, folds like that, or you can spread it out and do a quick change when you have a set of traffic lights and put it underneath the back seats. You can tell he's done this before. I have done this before. <laughs> there you go. Now, we've got a very unique situation. Very rare to have two matching cars from two different eras that are the same and the same colour. This is the classic and this is the future classic. This is the Porsche 991 Targa 4S. Now this is made remembering the classicness of the Targa driving and you can see where in the early 70s they had a brushed aluminium finish and they've kept the retro look on this here with the brushed aluminium and of course in the later series they went to the uh, black but in this particular case um, they're both exactly the same and this is the current version of it so Harry why don't you let me show you how we do it today in 2022 now the 991 4S Targa was an absolute hit because it allowed people to enjoy uh, retro driving with a target top while still having a semi-fixed top. In this particular case, the convenience, not having to stop and pull the roof off and then stop again to put the roof on when it starts to rain. Now that's a little bit complex to get the roof off, but when you think about all the electronics and everything that's going on here, this is actually the more complex roof mechanism. You've got this huge piece of glass on the back here that you won't see on any other car. You've got these two little flaps that pop open to let the whole cover come out and over the car. And you'd think that something like that would be prone to breaking, but given it's a Porsche, they're just bulletproof. They never, ever, ever break. It actually works so seamlessly and it's so easy to operate. And as I said, you can do it at any time you want convertible driving. You just press that button and it all works beautifully engineered. And it's actually a work of art how it all works. Exactly. Now, um, I've got a great idea, Harry. How about you drive uh, down memory lane and take that for a spin and I'll follow you on this and then we'll swap over cars. I'd love to. All right, done, let's go. Alright, 
feels about as loose as me in my uh, uni days. Pulling out, clutch bite point is super high. There we go, you just gotta row the gears. Just row it. Okay, so here we go. Now this is actually a very easy car to drive. Feel the power. And of course, this has the PDK gearbox. So this particular solar gearbox, which means you can change your gears here up and down uh, through an automatic and a manual gate up and down, or you can simply leave it there and use your paddle shift controls here uh, to do your gears up and down. You know, for a tiny little engine, it does it does feel pretty peppy. It's um, you know, it's got a bit of go to it, but obviously that's just because the car is super light. It's almost fruity in a way. This particular car is a 400 horsepower. So this is an update. This is a 3.8 liter S and uh, it really, really drives fantastic. So you can really feel the power as you come through um, and it's absolutely awesome to drive. The steering, it's, uh, you know, it's got your classic 80s uh, deadness in the middle of the rack, but you know, compared to other stuff at the time, it's actually you know, it's really responsive. And it means you can just drop down a gear and go. So we're going to try and catch up to Harry here, and um, he's been enjoying his dad's old car, but we're just going to pull over here, and I think I'll just give him a bit of a toot. Make sure he stops. Hang on. He doesn't want to get out of that car. Um, okay, here we are. Okay, let's swap over.